Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Anthony or Big B Stats and welcome back to another Minecraft title update 46 secret feature video for you guys here today and again I'm going to be showing you guys some hidden secret features in the update also if you can drop the video like and share it it is much appreciated and shows your support for the channel so again the T46 update is out right now I'm gonna wear the elytra the whole entire video because I absolutely love the elytra I must admit it, it's just it's just amazing I just love being able to just kind of like fly around or so but let's talk about these secret features which I will get into uh, here so let's talk about the very first feature and the first feature I want to talk to you guys about is the snow golem uh, so I believe this was not in the previous update being that you will now be able to shear the head of a snow golem and you get the little derp uh, snowman there again this was on pocket edition 2 but I don't think this made it over to console uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but I don't think it did, and I think this is actually a new feature inside of this update. But nonetheless, it's still a pretty cool thing uh, to do, just in case you did not know about this. <laughs> I remember covering it again on Pocket Edition, uh, so there you have it. Next up is going to be a brand new death message. Yes, you're probably wondering, like, what? A new death message. So, I'm going to put on fly here, and this is going to be quite painful for for me but it also helps out being that once you die I, I know like I do a lot of PvP and things like that uh, so whenever like let's say you you kill someone in like a Hunger Games or something like that and you die in the process you can't really see what happened but now you will be able to see exactly what happened uh, to yourself on the screen here so again this is gonna be quite painful but what better way to go out than with the elytra and you just kinda go head first BAM <laughs> <laughs> Big B stats hit the ground too hard. So the death message actually pops up on the you died screen. So I thought that was pretty cool. And also something to kind of just just add in there uh, as well. So uh, there's another feature. There's going to be about 10 secret features on this one. The next one is going to be in the menus. They've also added something in the menus, uh, which is going to actually be, they have the flying view rolling, but they also have in the user interface, they have the display save icon. You can cut that off so it doesn't keep popping up in the corner. Uh, they also have the display chat messages. So you can also take both of those off if you like. That's definitely really good for recording purposes uh, if you ask me so and also it just kind of can get annoying if you're in a game with a lot of people and they're doing different things and you're always getting the notifications that kind of pop up so uh, thank you 4J for adding that that is just amazing so I really do uh, appreciate that next up is going to be a feature from PC is going to be now the mobs when you hit them they have hearts I should probably switch into creative just to be on the safe side <laughs> and look at that <laughs> well it's not working here but if you all right I'm, I'm gonna take out the snow golem I'm sorry buddy I am sorry but uh, the mobs here if you hit them hearts actually come off of them so I thought that was a pretty cool feature uh, now that they added hearts that come off of the uh, the mobs there so uh, great job on that one and I thought that was pretty good the next up feature is probably one of the coolest I think uh, which I'm gonna switch into creative I was actually an adventure just then I'm gonna switch into creative and show you exactly what the feature is and it's being able to eat certain items in creative so I noticed you'll be able to eat like the golden apple enchanted golden apple you'll be able to eat the chorus fruit uh, as well I don't think you can eat anything else which I'll just check a bit but I know that the items that actually have abilities allow you to actually eat them in creative so like at right now I can't eat mushroom stew because that only just replenishes like my health and things like that but the chorus fruit allows you to teleport so you can actually eat that and teleport so Again, I thought that was uh, very neat too. We also have uh, the golden apple. Also, you just can't keep eating it. It seems like it goes away. You can also eat the golden apple in creative uh, mode too. Before, you couldn't you couldn't do that, and now you can eat the enchanted golden apple if you like. So again, you can now eat in creative mode certain items, the only ones that kind of like do stuff uh, to you. So those are the items right there. Again, the chorus uh, fruit. Also, the golden apple. So, uh, amazing job on that one. The next feature is going to do with the iron bars. I also want to say a big thank you to some of you guys that shot me some secret features over on Twitter. Uh, some of those are just amazing, especially from like the Pie Train, Red Cats Gaming as well. So, here are the iron bars. So, let's talk about the iron bars. Also, I'm going to show you guys a little feature with the doors uh, too. So, the iron bars are now like PC as well. Is that they play singly, so uh, they don't they don't look so complicated 
dedicated to place now like you can actually tell what's going on which I really love a lot because it used to be such a pain trying to place like iron bars now but they now place in single bits kind of like the in rod so amazing job on that little feature there we also have the doors which make new sounds so I know this one kind of makes a new sound when it kind of closes. It sounds a lot different from before, but not not too different. I mean, it still sounds like a door, but it's, it has more of a, a realistic sound to it. So uh, I thought that was a pretty cool feature uh, for them to add in. Also, the next feature is going to do with the bow and arrow. So here you have a bow out, and basically, uh, you know, we have tipped arrows now in the update. So if we go down and get ourselves our tipped arrows, uh, this is a pretty cool feature. So right now in my inventory, I have a bow, I have a arrow of regeneration, arrow of strength, and an arrow of weakness. Now you're probably wondering, like, how do I actually choose what bow I want? So that's the regeneration one there. But it's like, how do I actually choose? So as long as you have a bow, uh, you can use the arrow uh, and kind of like shoot your bow like that. So as you can see, I'll switch to the arrow. So right now I have an arrow in my hand and if you just press LT, it'll pull up the bow. So you'll be able to kind of do that. So I thought this was a pretty cool feature. Also helps out a bunch when you think about it. And let's see, you don't even have to have it in your, in your hot bar as long as you have it on you and all you need is just the arrow out and you should be able to actually shoot that out. So uh, very, very uh, good job on that one. Now also another feature what I want to talk to you guys about is going to do with hay bales now I will probably have to take myself out due to the fact that <laughs> I have this the golden apple on so the damage is gonna be quite diff difficult to kind of uh, kind of pinpoint what's going on so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of go down face first on this one but uh, it's gonna be very painful <laughs> all right there you have it so I just kind of do that just to kind of get back to normal also, the fly sound still kind of seems to, to traggle on after uh, that there. So, uh, yeah, this feature is going to do with hay bells. So, what I'll do is I'll, I'll quickly build up. Do let me know if this was in a previous update. As far as I know, I don't remember it ever being in a previous update, but it very well could be. Same thing with the snow golem thing. It's just sometimes you get confused with the updates. So, let's go ahead and go up here, and we're going to place some hay bells right here. So, basically what this will do it will allow you to take less damage. So we go on top of here. Uh, we're gonna switch into survival so we can just pay attention. Oh, let's also get a little bit of, uh, let's get a little bit of food just in case. I'll just grab some steak here. There we go. Our life is at stake. <laughs> so there we go. Let's switch into survival. Now I'm gonna jump, I'm just gonna fall off. Let's see how many hearts I take. So I took three and a half hearts. Three and a half hearts, not too bad at least. But let's jump onto the hay bale. And we only took one heart, and if that. So uh, when you land on hay bales, you now take less damage than before. So maybe something to kind of think about whenever you're adding this inside one of your maps or so. So just do kind of uh, bear that in mind. Also with mob heads, it seems, uh, which I, again, one of these features, which I feel like you weren't able to do, like with mob heads and with pumpkins and things like that, you're actually able to kind of quick move them onto your head. Now I know before, I think you had to pick them up and place them there but it seems like now you can actually quick move them not from your hot bar but from this from this menu here so if I press Y you can actually just quick move them so again I thought that was pretty cool that you can now quick move uh, the heads of the mobs at least uh, onto your head so uh, great job on uh, that one right there so yeah that's pretty much it for today's video you guys and those are the secret features uh, that I found for for TU46 and also some of you guys found as well remember if you have any more feel free to leave those down below in the comments I will be searching for some more so I will be sure to keep you guys posted on any new ones that I find but thank you all so much for watching remember to leave a like and share it and feel free to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest Minecraft news and more and until the next I will talk to you guys later peace out bye